human intellect has sparked like never before. No, no, don't look so complimented. <laughs> but anyway, it's true that more people can think for themselves today than ever before in the history of humanity. Whether they're thinking right or not, that's a big question, but at least they're thinking something. So once human intellect fires like this and it will continue in the coming years, you can't stop it, then solutions for life in another place is not going to work because I want you to understand, with all due respect to all the great scriptures on the planet, most of the scriptures on the, on the planet cannot withstand two logical questions. If you ask two questions, it will collapse. It can remain sacred and up there only as long as you prevent it from asking these questions. <laughs> these questions are taboo. These questions are sacrilege, you're not supposed to ask them. Only as long as you do not ask these questions, they float in very sacred space. If you ask two questions, it'll collapse. Entire philosophies, belief systems, religious processes, everything will collapse with two questions, majority of it. There are a few things which will stand, of course. These two questions, only a few rare human beings asked in the past or till now. Now I am contaminating the world. I am making these questions common, just about everybody is asking these days. <laughs> and there are many other sources that… and the very nature of human intellect will ask these questions. Once these questions become commonplace, it is there and this all we have to do. <laughs> if you don't understand what is the process of this, this is all we have to do. We have to plant two questions in everybody's mind with which every kind of fanciful philosophy will collapse. If people genuinely start asking few fundamental questions, all fancy solutions up there will collapse and come down to life here. Once that happens, turning inward is an obvious step, there is no other way. We are heading towards that. How… how much gas we put into it will depend on, will… will make sure or will facilitate how quickly we get there. How quickly we get there simply depends on how much energy we put into this. If we plant this question in everybody's mind in the coming year, <laughs> you will see within ten years time almost the entire human population will be doing yoga. Just simple questions, that's all. Answer not, answers not needed, just questions for which there are no answers in any book. <laughs> so these questions are being raised because it's very natural for human intellect to come up with these questions unless it's heavily indoctrinated. The way religious extremism is spreading in the world, the way things are happening, it looks hopeless. Uh, not in my view. The more extreme it gets, the more these questions will pop up in people's minds. Yes? In the meantime, unfortunately some people will have to suffer because extremism is spreading in a strong way. But as more nutcases do things, glaring things on the planet, more these two questions will pop up in everybody's mind. A few years ago, maybe some of you have read it, think uh, this got written into that Midnight with the Mystic book. I 
was made to meet a person who was in a kind of a reality show but he was on his deathbed. He was terminally ill and uh, they wanted to… this show is about death. So they brought him on this and uh, I went and met him later on and kind of helped him out of that situation. So his question to the people was, at that time Iraq war was just on, so he said, uh, we are praying to God for victory. I am sure they are also praying for victory. Who will God favor? I said, whoever has more guns. <laughs> How is God supposed to answer this question? Both of them are praying, I'm sure whenever they went to battles, both sides are praying. So whose prayer will he answer? Those who are right, those who are wrong, those who win are always right. We know that. <laughs> so questions will come invariably because human intellect is being nurtured in so many different ways. Not all the things that come out of this intellect are going to be pleasant. Lots of unpleasantness will come. But one thing will happen, all the established so-called solutions will collapse. People will want an answer at some point out of sheer frustration. Because initially intellect will turn you into an atheist, it's a natural consequence, you know. When your logic starts asking questions, you naturally become an atheist. As your logic evolves further, you will understand the childishness of being atheist or theist for that matter. Then you will want genuine answers. The evolution of human intellect will naturally lead to solutions from within. Then the methods and technologies that yoga has to offer will become of phenomenal significance.